Hey y'all, it's Brooke with HubSpot Academy. Did you hear that we've evolved CMS Hub to be part of a brand new hub called Content Hub? This new hub brings AI-powered content creation to your HubSpot account, including your websites and blog. Check out the link in the description below to learn more. One of the best new features of Content Hub is the Content Embeds feature, which allows you to add HubSpot-created content on another website easily. This is especially great if you have WordPress for your website and HubSpot for blogging and other marketing purposes. In this video, let's take a look at how you can use content embeds to add your HubSpot content directly to a WordPress site. All right, now I'm in my HubSpot account. I'm going to go to the main navigation and I'm going to click on content and then click on embeds. So now we're on the content embeds page this is the place where you can create new content embed as well as download the content embed plugin. You also need the HubSpot WordPress plugin. Click on the upper right hand corner, download WordPress plugin. And this is specifically the HubSpot content embed plugin. You need both plugins for this to work. Now that we have those downloaded to our computer, let's go over to our WordPress site. So now that we're in our WordPress backend, in the main navigation, click on plugins, then click on add new plugin and then click on upload plugin and you can upload a zip file directly here. So click choose file and it's called the lead in dot zip. So we're going to click open. We're going to click install now. And then we're going to click on activate plugin. Now we're going to go back into plugins and we're going to install the content embeds one. So we're going to click on add new plugin again, upload plugin, upload our zip file, content embed zip. Open that, click install now, click activate plugin. Awesome, now that our plugins are installed, let's go back to our HubSpot account to create our first content embed. On the content embed page, in the right hand corner, click on create embed, and let's name this test content embed WordPress. You can choose from your themes. So if you have a specific theme that you want it to match, I'm going to go ahead and have it match the Vitality theme, which is a HubSpot built theme. Click Create. And then if you use the HubSpot CMS, this page should look very familiar to you. You can go ahead and drag and drop modules in here. So let's go ahead and drag a heading here and we'll just say, hello, this is a HubSpot content embed and let's also add in a layout let's do a two column layout here and then in our two column layout let's do some rich text on one side and then on the other side let's go ahead and an image we're going to replace the image with this one and then we're going to go over here and type in, this is my first content embed on my WordPress site. The content is edited in my HubSpot account. And then you can also use the AI assistant to expand it out. And we'll insert that. So now it looks a little bit more full. And then in the top right, click publish. And then it's been published. So now we can exit. Now that we have our first content embed, let's go back to our WordPress site. So here in our WordPress site, let's go ahead and click on pages and click add new page. And you need to be in the Gutenberg editor. It doesn't work in the old WYSIWYG editor. You have to be using Gutenberg. So we're going to say HubSpot content embed page. Click on that and then you can search for HubSpot and you should see HubSpot content embed. And then we can select our embed. We're going to choose test content embed WordPress. And then it gives you a nice button to edit it in HubSpot. So now we're going to click on save draft. We're going to click on the view button on desktop. And we're going to click preview in a new tab. 
And now our content embed is here on our website page. And there you have it, an easy way to have your HubSpot content inside another web page. You can also add smart rules that will carry over through query parameters in the URL to change the content based on who's seeing it. Let me know in the comments below what you think about our new content hub, how you're going to use it. Please make sure that you subscribe to the HubSpot Developers YouTube channel, like this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, y'all. Bye-bye.